Hi everyone, hey before I start this video, do the credit roll and all that, I wanted to uh, let you guys know that uh, Ron and Julie at RJ's Adventures here on YouTube and Maria and I, uh, we're all going to be at uh, Quartzsite for the January gathering and we are issuing an open invitation to our subscribers who would like to join us in our camp circle for uh, the Quartzsite January gathering. Maria and I are already here in Tucson. We're going to be leaving for Quartzsite on about the 23rd. Uh, we will be there as everybody starts to arrive, uh, Ron and everybody coming from uh, Florida. And uh, we're going to try and find a spot at uh, probably Roadrunner BLM that's big enough to house the six or seven RVs that we already have confirmed that are going to be camping in our circle. So uh, that's it, open invitation. If you would like to camp with us at the January gathering in Quartzsite, Arizona this year, please let us know so that we have a good count and I can uh, get us a big enough area for everybody, okay? So uh, that's about it, uh, let's roll the credits. out this journey has seen better days whatever he hit over here on the side went from the front all the way to the back just crushing it all the way down there look at that Wow Check out that rim. Oh boy, so we're uh, leaving the Oklahoma City Freightliner where we had the 30,000 mile service done on the coach. And we also had a generator service done. It took uh, about three and a half hours and the total was $1,148.01. <laughs> which is lower than the estimate uh, by a couple of bucks anyway. So uh, we're leaving Oklahoma City. We're westbound and down. Arizona, here we come. In one half mile, turn left on South MacArthur Boulevard. So here we are. We're back at Sayre City Park, Sayre, Oklahoma. We're going to uh, stay here tonight and head into Texas tomorrow to continue our, continue our journey to Arizona. Here's the playground, putt-putt golf, and there are the kitties. city swimming pool, and there must be, I don't know, 10 or 20 cats running around this city park. They are kind of everywhere. Uh, they especially like to live in that box right there at the Putt Putt Golf. <laughs> we saw them poking their heads out of there last time we was here. <clears throat> and uh, this is um, full hookups, $12 a night. Right there's the sign, $12 a night. And we turn that yep. way, go all the way down. There's the bathrooms, and over here is the campground. Looks like we got uh, a pool behind and a Class A. 
over there right now. And we'll figure out where we're going. I think we can go in this first one behind right here. So we're right there? Yep. Maybe we can put that right there. Usually we stay in that one where they're at. Yep. But, uh, yeah, we can just pull right in here. Those trees, that tree's tall enough. Yeah. And it looks like you're going to pull all the way forward, so... Can you turn it on? Okay, so we are south of Albuquerque on Highway 25, headed for Las Cruces and I-10. Hang a right and go to Tucson. Last night we stayed at um, Edgewood. Edgewood, Edgewood uh, New Mexico's Walmart. Great place to stay, great Walmart. Manager gave us permission right off, no problem, uh, to spend the night there. And uh, we parked out by the Denny's in the back of the parking lot there. Very quiet. Probably the best uh, Walmart overnight we've ever had. had got, got some great sleep. So um, that's where we're at. We're still westbound and down, headed for Tucson. I really wish there was more to show you guys on this trip, but uh, you know, going through New Mexico, it's pretty and all. But it's, um, you know, kind of brown with a green tint, I guess. <laughs> it's got some pretty mountains. Oh, and it's got lots of trucks. Coming across the uh, panhandle of Texas and all the way over to Albuquerque, we saw a lot of RVs headed east. No idea where they're going. Um, and they're up on I-40 headed east. That was kind of weird. Uh, you'd think if they were headed for, you know, South Texas or um, Gulf Shores, Alabama or someplace like that, or even over to Florida, they'd be on I-10. But this was on I-40. A bunch of RVs headed east. No idea why. <laughs> Seems like they was going the wrong direction to us. We're, uh, you know, chasing the good weather. Okay, good morning everyone. Um, we have made it to Tucson, Arizona. Uh, if you're with us over on Nomadic Native Facebook, then you already know that we have a brand new baby grandniece, Aliana, here that is in serious need of some spoiling. And you've seen the pictures of her and all that. If you haven't joined us on Facebook, uh, we, we invite you to join us over there. That's where we put all the pictures and the travel shots and you know all the stuff. Okay, everything that's not on YouTube is on Nomadic Native Facebook. That's all we do. YouTube channel, Facebook, that's it. So um, we, got an, uh, we got an RV park here in Tucson, uh, and I got to tell you, it was uh, more by chance than anything else because tis the season here in Arizona. The RV parks are slammed. Uh, the only time we've seen them more slammed than this is after quartzite when everybody starts to leave and the RV parks in Tucson overfill. 
So if uh, if you're headed this way um, out to Tucson or whatever, uh, you probably want to start calling them parks before you get here, and you know plenty of time before you get here to try and find a spot. Uh, now before we left, I mentioned to everybody that uh, I was going to be keeping track of expenses. We started keeping track of our expenses on November 1st. Today is November 15th, and I'm ready to give you our first expense report. Now keep in mind that uh, we were at the house for quite a while there, and before we left, we had to stock up. We do most all of our shopping at Walmart for all of our groceries, dog food, cleaning supplies, all that. Um, so uh, we did a lot of that. Um, and uh, also, you know, keep in mind that um, we provisioned well enough that it's going to last us for a while, okay? So, without further ado, here is the expense report, November 1st through the 15th. Walmart. So far this month, we have spent 19, or, uh, <laughs> so far this month, we have spent $519 at Walmart. Diesel. So far this month, we have spent $518, and I think we have three quarters of a tank give or take a little so it's going to last us you know all the way to quartzite and then some uh, gas for the Jeep we have spent forty seven dollars and twenty nine cents eating out uh, on the way here and since we've been here taking our nephew out to, to eat and all that uh, we have spent a total of ninety three dollars camping okay I have to explain camping a little bit we found uh, we wanted to stay here in Tucson for a week to visit with our new grandniece, so we found an RV park for a week. Then we found out that all of the, our family from California is coming here for Thanksgiving, and what we could have done is we could have took off out of here in a week, spent a week in Quartzsite or somewhere, and then tried to come back for Thanksgiving and find an RV park, and they're slammed. So uh, putting everything together, we decided that it was going to cost us more in diesel to go out and come back than it would be just to extend until the day after Thanksgiving here at this RV park. So that's what we've done. Uh, that has made our camping for this month so far $569. It's going to be interesting to compare that to next month when I don't think we'll be at an RV park at all December and January so we won't have that expense okay let's see RV and generator service uh, as we were leaving uh, Oklahoma it was time for our 30,000 mile service on the RV and the generator had uh, it needed a service as well so we went to the Freightliner like you saw in this video and we had that done the uh, total for the service on both was $1,148 uh, since arriving in Tucson, we decided that we wanted a new oxygenic shower head and I needed to replace the anode rod tube in the water heater. We bought those things here in Tucson. That was $78.26. So including service and all expenses, November 1st through the 15th, stock it up in the beginning to, you know, so that we have some longevity and all of that. Uh, the grand total to get us from our home in Oklahoma to this RV park in Tucson was $2,972. Now to, uh, to get the total of just um, uh, supplies and stuff and not service, you would uh, subtract the $1,148 and the $78.26 Hold on, I'll add it up for you without the service. And without the service and everything, the grand total is $1,746. Uh, so now you know what we have spent, first through the 15th, to get us from the house to Tucson and beyond, because we have diesel and we have food and all of that, okay? So that's about it for this video. I know it ran a little long. Thanks for sticking around. If um, you haven't subscribed, we invite you to subscribe and follow along. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you soon.